attention students! Welcome back to Breland's Beauty School. Today, I'm going to show you six cute and easy school hairstyles for curly or wavy hair. But today's lesson is something that's much deeper than beauty. Today, I want to invite you to join the fight against pediatric cancer. Meet Lauren, a 15-year-old cancer survivor who beat osteosarcoma, a type of bone cancer. During her battle, Lauren and her family met another family through an online blog who also had a child battling the same exact cancer. He was a six-year-old boy named Maddie. Through each other's support, each family gained strength. But unfortunately, Maddie lost his battle with cancer in 2009. And a foundation was created in Maddie's memory called the Maddie Miracle Cancer Foundation, which raises awareness for pediatric cancer. Lauren wanted to do her part for the boy who changed her life, so she created Bows for Hope, a nonprofit organization which Lauren hand makes duct tape bows and sells them on her website, bowsforhope.org, in which Lauren donates 100% of the proceeds to the Maddie Miracle Foundation. Lauren is a brave warrior and has won her battle against cancer. So today, I am joining her in the fight to find a cure. I encourage everyone watching today to visit bowsforhope.org and purchase one of these beautiful duct tape bows for an awesome cause. And with the recent loss of one of our own beautiful beauty gurus here on YouTube, Talia Joy Castellano or Talia Joy 18, Cancer has taken so many of our children from us, so we have to join together in the fight. So please start today by clicking the like and favorite button to do your part in raising awareness for pediatric cancer. So let's go ahead and get to class, students, and let's get started. <laughs> Has your unruly hair ever made you do this? Well, have no fear, Miss Glitter is here. So first off, never brush through your curls. This creates frizz, static electricity, and it just looks plain poopy. Always use this doohickey called a pick to gently pluck through the ends of your hair. And this gives the illusion that your curls have been brushed when in reality they haven't. <laughs> Next, apply your favorite frizz serum. Depending on how thick and frizzy your hair is will depend on how waxy of a product you need. I recommend these three awesome products. They work grand! Just apply a generous amount to any frizzy parts of your hair, especially around your ears and face, and this is really going to cut down that frizz and cut it into tiny little nothings. Next, take in my Bows for Hope Hello Kitty bow, which I have cleverly hot glued to a plain headband. I'm just applying this to my hair, and I like doing this before I braid, so it's already molded to my crazy hair. I mean, you never know what it's going to do. You just got to keep your hair in check. So, I just normally braided it down, and of course, fluffed it a bit to give me a little bit of voluminous volume. And I'm finished! Attention curly hair troopers, please report to my office immediately. You have all just won an award for being awesome. Mostly because you have to deal with your hair on a daily basis. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I feel sorry for you. Mini curly unicorn tails! Magically part your curliness and begin twisting each side of your hair and securing with bobby pins. Add two of Lauren's beautiful bows for hope for that extra glam. So this is the special limited edition Glitter Forever 17 bow that Lauren and I both created together. And it is filled with glitter and polka dots. So in school when your friends ask where you got your cute hair bows, you can tell them where you got them and raise even more awareness for pediatric cancer. Even Minnie Mouse would be jealous of this look hairstyle. Part your hair however you please and put it up in two piggy tails, just like so. And don't worry if it looks kind of messy, we are just going to pretend that we meant to do that, which I kind of did. Next, use a teasing comb and fluffy fly each piggy tail and gently wrap it around your pony ring and just secure with bobby pins. And you can tug on it a bit to make it bigger or you can just leave it like it is to keep it small, whatever. And you want these bun buns to look kind of messy and effortless. Next, taking these two hot pink and zebra bows from Bows for Hope, I'm just going to place each one on my buns, hun, and you're done. Tee hee, that rhymed. So you got half up, and then you got half that you forgot to put in the ponytail. Hairstyle. Oh my gosh, I don't know how to explain this hairstyle. I know it's going to be really hard and difficult, but yeah. So what you want to do is put your hair into a side half up ponytail, wrap a little hair around that pony ring, and oh my gosh, I did it! I did it! Oh my gosh, 
gosh, I can't believe I did it. And then you just want to add one of these beautiful bows for hope to your hair to add a little extra glam. And you're finished. Yay, I did it. A hairstyle that looks really complicated, but it actually isn't hairstyle. First, you can either regular braid or side dutch braid your hair like I did. And I'll link my dutch braid tutorial below if you'd like to learn how to do this. Next, just wrap the braid into a tiny little ball on the side of your head and secure with a pony ring. And just tug on it a bit to give it a little more volume and shape it. Then, I'm just going to add my Bows for Hope headband that I made to finish off this look. I think it's time for some random singing in the middle of this video. When I sound like a man, I sound like a man. Fluffy bun tastic bun with lots of bunitude. Alright, so now it's time for a man to show you how to do your hair. So what you want to do is put your hair into a high ponytail and slick it back with your teasing comb and a little bit of this man gel that I got here. Then you just want to fluff up your pony ring a little bit. I mean your ponytail. I'm sorry, I'm a man. I don't, I don't really know these terms. And then you just want to wrap it around your pony ring, spray a little hair spray on there, and add one of these beautiful bows for hope. Woohoo! First off, I just want to say thank you so much for watching and encourage you to visit bowsforhope.org or maddiemiracle.com to make a difference and make a donation, not only to an organization, but to a child in need of saving. If you or a family member is battling cancer or any other illness in general, I just want to send all of my love and hugs to you and your family and let you know that I love you and God loves you. So stay strong and warrior on. Now for a special memorial tribute to two beautiful angels looking down on us, Matthew J. Brown and Talia Joy Castellano. You will be forever missed and in our hearts and never forgotten. So fly high, angels. There are angels in waiting, and they're all around But you can't see them, cause you don't look close enough But baby, if you did, you might find some hope in us Because there are angels in waiting And they're all around But you can't see them Cause you don't look close enough But baby if you did You might find some hope in us The song Angels in Waiting was written and produced by Rod Jerome Gull of Jerome Entertainment. Be sure to check out all of his links in the description below. I thank you so much for watching and have a blessed and glitterful day. Love, Breland. There are angels in waiting.